In this episode, we're talking obstacles. Now, I get it. In life, when things are going great and smooth, that's when an obstacle will come your way. And we're going to talk about three things you can do to make your obstacles from a huge mountain into that of a molehill. Stay tuned. Show of hands, who here hates obstacles? I do, I do, me too, please. And I get it. Like there's times where I've got something to send out in the morning and I have a friend over, like my IT friend, he's great in programming and hardware uh, stuff, fixing it. And I have him over, have a great time, and he goes and leaves um, later that night. And what happens, I go back on the computer and I get the blue screen of death. That's happened to me, I kid you not. And I'm thinking, I just had my IT friend over and he could have fixed it and now what do I do? Now in life, you're going to be served uh, lemons a lot of time, but you're going to have to make lemonade out of it. Many obstacles come in the form of financial setbacks, it comes in the form of maybe poor health, it comes in the form of maybe lost opportunities or you're not able to get the promotion that you're seeking. And I get it, I've been there and I fully understand. Now I want to give you three things you need to do so that you can make those obstacles, which are appear to be mountains, into a little molehill so you can accomplish it. Number one, you have to take a step back. Many times when we hit an obstacle, it's like hitting a brick wall at maybe 100 miles an hour. You feel devastated, shell shock, and you're panicking. And the worst thing you can do about time is keep on working at it, chipping away at it, because I'm telling you, I've done that and it doesn't work. It only makes matters worse. Now this reminds me of Albert Einstein's quote on insanity. He says the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. By taking a step back, you're able to have a clear mind to look at the situation and maybe this the opportunity isn't for you. Maybe you have to maybe shift a little things, maybe connect with the different people. And this gives me the next thing, which is solutions. When you take a step back, you're open to getting solutions. Think of many solutions because when you think of solutions, maybe this gatekeeper that you're trying to get through is the wrong person. Maybe you need to go around them and find another person to connect with for that opportunity. Or maybe you need to rework your plan in a different um, way. So. By taking solutions, you don't feel that all is lost. You feel there's hope. Solutions give you hope. And this brings me to the next point. Number three is be persistent and don't give up. When you're persistent on working your solutions day in and day out, eventually something's going to give and you're going to break through that obstacle and get to the opportunity you seek. Now, this reminds me of a quote from Michael Jordan, and it goes like this. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Michael Jordan. Now that was a great quote. I just love it. I try to use it in my day-to-day -day life when I have obstacles that try to find solutions around your problems. Now on that note, I want you to share with me in the comments below, what have you done to overcome your obstacles? If you found this video helpful or inspirational, I want you to like, subscribe, and share if you care. See you soon in the training room. As I always say, keep moving forward and looking upwards. Take care.